Hey, what's up guys? This is Tyler from The Heritons and I'm back with a new video. Today, I'm gonna to show you how you can make your Mac run as efficiently as possible. I get the question all the time from people saying my computer's running really slow or it says that I'm out of disk space. What do I do? So I'm gonna show you the program that I use that shows you exactly where all of your hard drive space is being used and it shows it to you in a way that's really easy for you to understand, find the stuff that you don't need and get rid of it so you can keep going with your computer running fresh. fresh. All right, so the program we're talking about today is called Disk Inventory X. Now, it is a free program. I don't really know how I found it. I think it was on some random blog I found when I was in college, but I've been using it for years and it works perfectly. So um, the best way to find it, honestly, is just to Google Disk Inventory X. Uh, the website is durlian.com, but I've never typed that in. So just Google Disk Inventory X. Uh, you'll come up to this page here and, uh, okay. It looks sketchy. I know it looks sketchy, but I promise that it's not. Okay, so come to this page here, right here where it says get it, you click on Disk Inventory X 1.0. That's it, okay. So I've already done that, I've downloaded it, and then you need to open it. Okay, so you're probably gonna get this message when you open it because whoever makes this program is not an identified developer by Apple. So in order to fix this, you have to adjust your Apple privacy settings. So you've got to go to the Apple, click System Preferences, to, okay, so that goes away. We're gonna go to security and privacy. And then uh, right here, you see it says disk inv inventory X was blocked, blah, blah, blah. You hit open anyway, okay? Um, for some reason right now, it's just like not still wanting to work. So uh, hit open anyway, uh, so I'm not gonna work. All right, so you guys put your password in, change this to anywhere, and it'll allow you to download anything. Um, just make sure you're, after you have are done using this program that you go back and change it back so you don't accidentally download a virus or anything like that. So, all right, so when you first open the program, uh, this is essentially all you have. Uh, so basically you have the option of doing your internal hard drive of your computer or any external drives as well, which is really nice if you have some full external drives. But for today, we're just gonna do my Macintosh HD right here, my main hard drive of my computer. So once you click on the hard drive, it's gonna analyze the whole thing. Um, and that process usually takes about five minutes or so. It kind of will vary depending on the size of your hard drive, things like that. But uh, we're just going to, for the sake of this video, jump right to the end once it's finished analyzing. All right, so once it finishes analyzing, this is what we're gonna see. And basically you're looking at a visual representation of how my hard drive space is being used. So over here you can see there is a little guide that shows you that each type of file is uh, a different color. So you can really quickly look over here and see um, exactly kind of what's been taken up. So this big chunk of purple uh, squares over here are all QuickTime files, so they're movie files, uh, which makes sense for me. So if I click on one, I can see exactly where that file is living on my computer. And if I right click here or uh, com control click, on a Mac, um, you can hit reveal in Finder and it will pull it up on my computer exactly where it is and then I can delete it or move it or do whatever I want. Um, so this is really, really powerful because it will show you, um, potentially show you things that might be taking up more space than you thought, things might be hidden, um, stuff that you forgot was there or stuff that you just like didn't realize uh, was taking up so much part, so much stuff like this random video here that I don't know why it's there but it's four gigs and I probably don't need it. Okay, big disclaimer, big disclaimer. Don't just start deleting stuff that you find, okay? So this program is great because it'll help you find a lot of uh, files that you don't need or anything like that, but it'll also help you find a lot of files you didn't know that you needed. So if you find a bunch of like cache files and like system files and things like that, if you don't know exactly what it is, Google it first, don't just start deleting stuff like crazy. What you're really looking for are big, folders of files that you forgot where they were or you didn't realize it was so big or that you can move onto an external hard drive, things like that. Um, if you start going in and deleting system files and things like that, you can really kind of mess yourself up. And I've done that before in the past. I was like, oh, I don't, surely I don't need this 12 gigs of system files and then mess up my whole computer. So uh, don't do that, <laughs> big disclaimer. So that is Disk Inventory X. As you can see, it's pretty simple to use. Um, it can be really powerful if you know what you're doing. Um, and it's a really awesome program. So I hope you found this helpful. I hope that if your Mac is running slow, um, that you at least try this first before you go 
and invest in a new one or invest in new hard drives, things like that. So um, if you have any questions or comments or anything like that, please leave them below. I will link directly to Disk Inventory X in case you can't find it on Google. And yeah, this has been Tyler with Inheritance and I'll catch you next time.